Welcome home, Rat Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day, and I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and the world's biggest Nickelodeon collection. But not just that, the creator and CEO of this channel happens to have her own official badge at Camp Coral. We decided to go for our bad shiners badge. But I hope you beautiful people are having an amazing day, and if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Nickelodeon treasure hunting camera flip. It's about to get a whole lot brighter right back because your sponge boy is here. And today is going to be one of your guys' favorite series on this channel. We are going to be going to our thrift store that we go to all the time, which is absolutely a gold mine, usually. We gotta, we gotta do the ritual in the car, what do you mean? Yeah, usually it is a gold mine. We always find some awesome stuff there. Whether it be DVDs, board games, toys, you never know what we're gonna find. But of course, we're gonna be looking for Funge, Nickelodeon in general, Disney, Cartoon Network, 90s, 2000s, anything that fits the vibe. And bringing it back here and seeing if we got a good deal and if it was worth it overall for what we paid in total. I can't wait to go though, we picked the perfect day to go. I got a little tip about what day they usually restock and I'm hoping that that comes to fruition and we see some new stock <laughs> that is awesome but without any further ado we're gonna head over to the thrift store find some awesome stuff to add to the collection bring it back here to check it out so let's go ahead and head into the car and as our usual ritual I have that's a ritual <laughs> <laughs> as our usual ritual I'm gonna mess with Mitchell I gotta knock over the lights well that did nothing but that didn't do a lot for me I usually knock over the much bigger light but now we haven't hung up so Damn, we're in my mom's truck today. Therefore, I don't have my car. My mom has mine. I don't have my SpongeBob to do the Ocean Man, Ocean Man, good luck ritual. Brian, show the good luck ritual in case they are unaware. Spin them. Ocean Man, Ocean Man, take me by the hand. <laughs> now you are aware. I don't know what we will do with this. She has this little bird that says, spread the love. S spread some luck. Spread some luck. Spread some luck. I don't give a... Well, I guess... Uh, Chuck. <laughs> a Chuck. <laughs> Ocean Man. Take me by the wing. What do birds have on their feet? Are the feet? Are they paws? Are they? What is that? Okay, anyway, claws. I guess. Take me by the claws. The talons. Talons. Oh yeah. Take me go. by the talons. All right, we're going inside the thrift store. Hopefully that works enough for us to get some good luck today. <laughs> and if we don't, I'm blaming our lack of Ocean Man being here. All right, we're pulling up into the spot. You already know the ritual. We're going straight for the toy section unless I get distracted by something else along the way. But for the most part, we're going there and then we search the rest of the store from there. Because usually if we're going to find something big, it's going to be in that section. Let's go ahead and check it out. Let's get inside. Okay, so they have two Scooby-Doo blankets. They're pretty much the same, right? They're like the set maybe, but two, two different people that donated them or maybe bunk beds. What do you think? <laughs> bunk beds. For sure, cheap wind beds, yeah. <laughs> yeah, very, very cute ones here. They look a little bit worn. I'm not going to pick them up, but it's nice to see Scooby and Shaggy hanging out here in the store already. It's a good sign. It's a good start, you know? It'll give me a little clue. Maybe there's something else in here. Okay, so we're gonna look through the bags. You guys know how this goes. We're gonna save those for a mystery, but we also gotta check out everything else going on. Already, I see a Morty pop here. <laughs> 10 bucks is pretty much like close to retail. Let's go ahead and check it out on the Funko app and see what we got here. Okay, so he goes for 13 on the Funko app. We're gonna go ahead and leave him. I mean, I don't even need this pop necessarily, and it's pretty beat up for the most part, so we're gonna leave this one. Oh, okay, nice little find right here. It is pretty scraped up though, so I'm gonna go ahead and not pick it up, but we did find the Rugrats container right here. I think you held like your crowns, pencils, stuff like that in there, but like I said, I mean, the nose is pretty scraped up. If I can clean it, I'm always gonna clean it, but this is like beyond cleaning, yeah, unfortunately. Thanks. But it's really sweet to see it there. Dude, look at this old school leapfrog. Leap <laughs> that is like, look, <laughs> he doesn't even look. Show him the modern leapfrog. This is like college educated leapfrog. That is crazy awesome though. This is before we even knew what touch screens were. That is wild. I don't know if you can handle this, Mitchell. Are you ready for it? Just a Mickey. Oh, <laughs> Get back in there. How do I know there was gonna be a Mickey in there? That could have just been a trap, a ploy. And there could have been a serial killer in there for all I know. The next up we have the Buzz Lightyear blaster here. Pretty cool too, but pretty ringed up. Oh, this is pretty sweet. Got an old school bop it. No batteries though. 
Well, this right here, I was actually, like, distracted by that. With a little Ooh, TMNT nice. basketball hoop, the suction cup still on there. I mean, it's a little scraped up, but I think it's cleanable. We got the old school, and old school, but not kind of the old school for Nickelodeon Ninja like Turtles. More original Nickelodeon, yeah. <laughs> the first wave of Ninja Turtles Nickelodeon basketball hoop. I'll pick that up for only $2.50. Why not? It's worth even just trying to clean it and see how it comes out. And then we have the super old Garfield. We just did some Garfield stuff. Look at how <laughs> cute he is with this little oh suitcase, God. the little G on it. <laughs> He's got the little tie and collar too. That's an amazing one. And then we have the Odie. And man, you could tell that one's old, old oldie. And then <laughs> on the back, let's see what year it is. It doesn't actually say, but I feel like this has got to be late 70s or early 80s. That is super old though. So we're going to keep looking around here and see what else they got. Maybe we can find something we're looking for. But either way, some cute stuff already. You've been saying your back's been hurting when you're sleeping. I got you a new bed right here. Oh yeah, it's actually size yeah, appropriate too. I what think I could actually put my left foot. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know I think it's cool. As Oh, yeah, you're talking crack almost had a whole mattress fall on you. <laughs> yeah, that was a little scary. <laughs> oh, I remember these. Yes, the spin tops. I actually had these, but I lost them. So I'll pick these up just so we can see if we can get an actual tower stack of these tops here. I think they used to sell them at Scholastics. Super nostalgic throwback here, but it was always like the ultimate accomplishment in life. You can get the full oh, stack. Wow, <laughs> so we're going to pick that up. Why not? Dude, what is up with these things everywhere? This is, not, this is actually this is Spider -Man. a yeah, little like better. <laughs> I know, like, you know, parents, that's what happens when you buy your kids these things at the amusement park. They end up here. Oh, oh my gosh, look at the price. The Dude, are you guys on drugs? What the hell? The one cool thing they have, we have the old school Charlie Brown Peanuts Yahtzee. I was like about to grab that in a heartbeat. And then it I saw, bro, that's more expensive than new Switch games now. That <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. All right, guys, so we're looking through the bags. It has been rough so far. If we don't find anything here today, we might go to another store, but we still have to check out the DVD. Sometimes that saves us, you know? Yeah. We'll take a look everywhere else, but we have a little sponge in here. So very, very cute. Looks like he's in pretty clean condition, so we'll have to check him out. And Mitchell found this Beast Boy. Should we you take the... Or? I don't know. Like I mean, $3. I mean, I don't know if that black under there is cleanable. I no, say he is so clean. cute, though. I, I say we take the risk on him. He's his face is telling me, please don't leave me here. These kids are savage. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be in a collected home. I think I'm going to take the risk on him and see if we can get the blacks. I know we can get all this brown off. Yeah, I just don't know about that black like, scrape there. I think he's worth the risk, Beast Boy. We're going to take the risk on you. Look at this SpongeBob bar right here. Why did you lie to me? I got so excited. <laughs> I was like, wow, something spongy. Oh, these are dope, dude. You know how they have like those candles for like um, Catholic religion and stuff like that? I mean, Six Flags released these ones. It looks like it has a Six Flag tag on the bottom. But $12 though, Six Flags. You have the Joker here and the actual like trade jacket on there. And then you have the Harley Quinn one too. They're both pretty sweet. I mean, $1.90, I don't know. They're not the worst idea to pick these up, I feel like. This one's pretty chipped up, so I'm going to leave it. But the Harley Quinn one for $1.99, I think I'm going to grab that one. That's kind of sweet. And it's like, it looks like it's never been use a little dusty in there but you know i mean if i got this though for 12 dollars, i wouldn't use it either though <laughs> yeah for sure <sighs> you see these this, these type of cases you know it's not looking good <laughs> they do have the kim possible movie but i'm not buying it in this case i don't like these cases really at all oh uh, dude they have some good ones though too in the wrong cases though they have the roly poly yeah those ones just kind of freak me out because they're always so sticky what do we got here? like a sealed stewart little hey dude <laughs> do, you, do you want that i don't want that but i'm grabbing one. that hell yeah dude a sealed stewart little <laughs> i was just messing with you but i'm definitely getting that there's the open one i'm sorry <laughs> you're I do want one to watch, one to keep. From the co-director, that, that, like that's such an extension. From the co-director of The Lion King, you should watch Just in this. Case you didn't know. <laughs> Oh, we have Blue's Clues, Blue's Big Holiday. It's a little battered here, but it could be worse. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna leave it though, just because it is pretty torn up there. I think, it, you know, we could probably find a better one in the future. All right, so I'm looking on this side, Mitchell. You're looking on this side, Mitchell. And then we'll both come together and see what we found, Mitchell. All right. <laughs> and of course, we're looking for any Nickelodeon books that we don't have already or anything else that stands out, but. 
Boom, dude, right there in Nick's own. Wow, fearless. what the heck? SpongeBob Fearless. That is a clean copy. Mm, that is a. I didn't even get time to look, dude. Yeah, sorry, I took it from your side. That is a super clean copy, though, dude. Hell yeah. We got That's the like Fearless. Fresh. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, we're grabbing that. Okay, we. I mean, that first thing I found was really good. Yeah, literally, <laughs> like, like nothing else. We do have this with a lot of the Hardy Boys books. I mean, I don't know if you guys grew up with these. Like, I remember exclusively having these in my house and never reading them. Yeah, I had like the whole, like, first, like, eight set or something. It's like everybody had these in their house, but not a lot of people read them. <laughs> Parents were like, oh yeah, you can read these mysteries. They'd be good for you. <laughs> Never read them. I'm pretty sure a lot of the dialogue and stuff in the book oh, probably doesn't hold maybe. up today. Oh, nice one. A wild Thornberry okay, movie? Okay, okay. I see you over there. Mr. Sorry to cut you off. I just... Mr. Nigel Thornberry with that eye. I see you right there. Smashing find. Alright, we're gonna pick that up for sure. But, shout out to the Hardy Boys. I'm sure they're good books. I just never had a chance to... I never took a chance to actually really read them. <laughs> That is really cute. Okay, we're gonna pick that one up for sure. <laughs> a little Pikachu mug is not bad at all. There's no like significant damage either. But dude, look what I found. I had the inability to leave it. Ooh. A sealed Hannah Montana little like school tin. I mean, it's, look what's made by the Tin Box Company. Shout out, shout out to Tim and his box company. <laughs> <laughs> but that is freaking new old stock from the late to mid 2000s, 2005. There's no way I was leaving that. Even though it's like, I don't collect Hannah Montana. That's just too cool. Anyway, guys, we we left that store. We did find a couple cool items, but I'm still itching to find something sick. It's at least some more sick stuff. We found some cool stuff. I'm not gonna complain. We found some really awesome items, including I'd say the best find for me, one of my favorites, was this book you found actually like last minute out of nowhere because we didn't need this one. This is the Wild Thornberry's movie book. I was also with the Hannah Montana, super nostalgic right there too. And we also found the SpongeBob's. We did find some sponge, so I guess I'm not allowed to complain at all. But let's go ahead and see if we can find a little bit more at one more store. And if not, then we're gonna head back and just check out what we did find. Having a fun day either way, so let's, let's check out and see if there's another store. They got rid of like the whole DVD section over here. I know, that whole section's completely gone, gone now. But Mitchell did spot this whole bag here with the SpongeBob. And they don't know their tag team. Yeah, some of them are pretty good. They do look a little scraped up, but some of them aren't too bad. So we're going to get this bag for sure. I also picked two other bags up too, but we're going to save that for a mystery for right now, okay? So we're going to keep looking around. If we find anything else, I'll let you guys know. But so far, this store has been a little bit of a bust. <laughs> okay, so when we were walking by this little door over here, you'll see it. There's actually we were like checking out everything. And I don't recommend you guys do this because they're working back there and stuff like that. I spotted them taking a full Powerpuff Girls. Like it was a set. massive box. You guys know how much love Powerpuff Girls. They have a whole Cartoon Network room dedicated to Cartoon Network, which half of this Powerpuff Girls stuff. I spotted it and I was like, oh, well, look at that. I was like saying it in the sense of like, oh, I wish we could get that, but look back there. Because half the time when we walk by those doors, we like, see no, some no. good stuff, <laughs> but they always say no. But Mitchell noticed that it was priced and he decided to wing it. He said, quote unquote, YOLO, which I haven't heard in years, but <laughs> Mitchell pulled it out. I'm glad he did. <laughs> and we asked for it. So we found something big for the hunt. Made this trip worth it. Boom. The Powerpuff Girls Mega Set for yeah. freaking $4. You get freaking Blossom pencils. You get the uh, tape right yeah. here. The sharpener. The eraser. Stamps. The stamps. The ruler. The pencil bag. Everything in here is absolutely adorable. Dead centered. As Y2K as it gets. You even get a super photo album too. This is so freaking cool dude. So nice, uh, nice find from both of us, yeah. but a nice pickup by you going to actually ask them. I was like, I just got to try it, you know? Every time I ever ask them, they're always like, no, 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 until it hits the shelves, you can't get it, you know? But because you, she actually priced it, I guess she was just like, okay, let's just go for it. <laughs> so sweet, nice one. Okay, I mean, whatever we find now is just a bonus, but I mean, we got for something big that made it the trip worth it. Definitely scratched my itch for a hunt. And if we see anything else, we'll let you guys know. We got a couple more bags that we're going to update you guys on too, but... That was a big find for today. That was awesome. We got the Max Bubbles here, but I think the coolest thing in this section is this. Do you remember the commercials for this? Yeah, I had one in my toy box for so long. <laughs> Did you use it? A couple of times, yeah. Yeah, so if you guys are, Ryan will put the commercial on screen, but you would take all your old broken crowns you didn't use, put them all inside of this guy right here. It would melt them and they would siphon them into one crown. So you 
brand new crown that was like a mixture of different colors that you could make with all your old crowns, which was just so cool. And one of my favorite products, and I never forget the commercial, and I completely deleted it from my brain until we saw that right now. Yeah. <laughs> Look, they have a My First Skeleton Kit. What the heck is Bones that? give support, and it has like an anatomically correct skeleton inside of it. The arms bend and the mouth and jaw even works too. It's not supposed to be Halloween themed, but I think it's kind of cool. We're gonna get oh. to try it out. What the heck? Oh, dude, nice what the heck, that is random. The Naruto Shippuden like present holders. These are obviously homemade. They're not like yeah, this is like, red. But they're still really cool looking. If you like are already having a birthday for somebody, that would be like a perfect little pickup. Oh yeah, I made this. You know, it took so much time. Didn't the take, PNG. You didn't yeah. make the PNG ch checkerboard out, but it's there. <laughs> yeah, they, sorry, that was a very YouTuber -y joke. <laughs> oh man, somebody surely won that for their girlfriend in like 1993. Yeah, <laughs> they either married and they don't care about it, or that didn't work out and they just had it in their garage for a long time. That is one of those stiff ones. You know those like hard foam? <laughs> yes. You know those little hard foam ones where the Scooby's neck always snaps or whatever it is? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just because it's such hard foam. And then you also we spotted this guy right here, the Bakugan. This is like so Play dope thing. actually. I don't, you know, collect Bakugan, but if I did, that's like a really clean like profile of all the different Bakugans. Okay, shout out to Mitchell with the find of the day. I mean, that was awesome. I would have never asked them. I was like, so like- Just anxiety hit real hard. <laughs> what is the word? The, um, the rejection, the fear of rejection was so strong that I was never gonna ask. So the fact that Mitchell was just like, oh, I'm gonna do it. What's the worst they could say is no. I'm like, that's debilitating. <laughs> that's gonna ruin my whole day if they say no. But he asked them and then boom, we ended up getting it. That's why they call it aggressive. You gotta be aggressive in life sometimes to get what you need, which is fun, <laughs> you know? <laughs> learned a lesson from Mitchell today. We got that right there. And I also got my skeleton, which I'm gonna be putting this in my actual, my main part of my house. I think this is really cool. It's just a really cool talking piece and a lot of fun too. And it's an anatomically correct one. And it's a little vintage too. So I'm really hyped on this one. This was definitely, these two items were worth the trip for me. This is a random one, maybe kind of weird to most people, but <laughs> I think it's really sweet. So I'm hyped on both of these. And also we got a bag, a couple items too, that you're gonna be surprised about. So now that we found some awesome stuff, let's go and head through this little jungle to get to my car. And then we're gonna head back to the cavern, check out the stuff we got, see what was worth it for the price. And of course, add some awesome stuff to the collection. Okay, okay, okay. So trip number two was where it was at. But you guys know how it goes. We start with the bags here. A little surprise bag. We're gonna check out all this stuff. We're gonna compare them based on the prices we paid for them and see if we consider it worth it or not worth it. And you guys can play along with us at home and let me know in the comments. Let's go ahead and start off the bags. So like I said, get into our first bag here. We're gonna start with the bags we got the first store. Okay, so starting off with the main one here, the SpongeBob one. I picked this one up because I saw the sponge and as I say, we never leave a sponge behind. As long as he's clean and good shape, we're gonna grab him. So let's check it out here. I love that he has a little clip right there. Where were you at in the car? Ocean man, ocean man, take me by the hand. <laughs> that would have been great if we would have been able to do that. Either way, we had some good finds though. So we have this SpongeBob plushie right here. This is from the pineapple era and it's from 2021. So about two years old. And surprisingly, we do not have this one in the collection. So I'm gonna say that's kind of a win. The fact that we have to add any little sponge to the collection is always, like I say, a win and a marker of a great hunt for me. So we're gonna go ahead and add him. I mean, to me, this bag's already worth it. We paid two forty nine for it. I would have paid two forty nine just for him. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know that's like a probably like an eight dollar plush. So. Oh yeah, absolutely. Especially with a little freaking this. This you think this is less than five bucks? No. <laughs> <laughs> you get a little hanger? No, that's like seven ninety nine. Okay, and then we have a very adorable Marshall here from Paw Patrol. He is a little dirty though. So I mean, you know what? Does that go to the set we already have? Yes, it does! That's the marshal that goes to the two up here! I am gonna throw him into the washer or throw him into some OxyClean, but that actually goes to that line. So, you know what? I'll say that's kind of a win now. <laughs> we have very few Paw Patrol items in here, but this little Beanie Baby set has been so adorable. I just kind of, you know, hit him up there as a little shameful secret. Is that what they call it? Shameful? You mean guilty pleasure? Oh yeah, guilty pleasure. Like you just don't want nobody to know about? Shameful secret I feel like is more appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> but guilty pleasure. We got Marshall and this little lion that we're gonna add to. And then we got this guy from Seoul, which I feel like we've had like 60 of these in this time that always come in these bags or something else we get. So that's 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 nothing. Alright, so what are we giving this one? Worth it? Oh, worth it all day. Worth it for sure. This SpongeBob can ride on. <laughs> Marshall to cure underwater fires because for some reason that is that is a thing I mean, we wouldn't have the campfire song if it wasn't for the possibility of fire underwater Hey, if we're underwater, how could there be a... 
Okay, so next up here, this one was an interesting one. It's 549. 549. But I picked this one up because I saw a bunch of different, like, you know these Funko advent calendars? Yeah, they're like tiny little ones. Yeah, <laughs> those advent calendars, those full size ones are like freaking 30 to 40 bucks just for the advent calendars. So these figures, uh, how many days are they usually in there? 29 multiplied, divide that. Basically, each of these figures is about a dollar each. You know, so let's take a look at this real quick. We got in here, we have the gingerbread woman Captain Marvel. Marvel, but it looks like she came with a stance. That's kind of an L right there. But also so was her movies. <laughs> no, I've never seen them. I, I, I just went with the common synopsis. They could be good. I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. And then next up we've got the, ah, they're all missing their stands though, unless the stands are in here. We got the Spider-Man standless as well too. Okay, then next up we've got the Gingerbread Hulk. That stands, there we go. So we'll count him as a W. We have the Spider-Man one. We have the Miles Morales. I'm gonna say these are all Ws so far. We have the Rocket Raccoon with like a snow sled. We have the Darth Vader and also Stormtrooper Snowman. We have the Gingerbread Bread. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, even do your Marvel trivia, Mitchell. See if you get these. Who is this? Captain Marvel? No, this is the Scarlet Witch. Oh, yeah. AKA the Scarlet Graham that. Cracker. And then right here we have a Princess Leia. Leia. Sorry. Yeah, we have Princess Leia here. You know this guy? Is that the uh, Martian? Marvin Martian. I'm Marvin, but just the Martian guy? <laughs> no, come on. You know him. He has a, a very well known sidekick. Why does he have like the cloak from the Martian guy, but then it's like Batman? <laughs> this is not Batman. Batman. This is Black Batman, Black Panther. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Batman. Then we have a Charlie Brown Funko Pop, who's got like bomb pop on his head or something. <laughs> He's got a little red spot. And then we've got the Thanos with a Christmas sweater. I mean, would do I love all of these characters? No, but I do like Deadpool and I like Spider-Man. So these two are kind of a win here. I think if I were to keep any of these, I'm keeping Charlie Brown, I'll clean him. I mean, let's be real. Uh, Charlie Brown Funko Pop out of the box is probably worth at least three, four bucks. Yeah, and then you've got like 13 of these. So. That are a dollar each. That's definitely worth it. So on screen, worth it. I mean, we try to avoid not worth it. Just sometimes it happens, but this is worth it. Okay, so now for the worth it roulette. So he was $3.49. This Beast Boy is super adorable, and I'm assuming it probably was pretty pricey, whatever box that it came in. But the grand question is, it was made by Mattel. Like that by itself is so cute. Yeah, if it can be cleaned up. Will his face be cleaned? So let's go ahead and spray him off. This is a, a test of cleaning's power. Okay, that went from not worth it to worth it. And then like, that's way cuter than a Funko Pop. Well, yeah, whatever brand or whatever this is from is sick. That is adorable. So I'm definitely gonna be holding on to this guy and that is a big worth it for me. And his arms are also articulate too. So you can adjust his pose a little bit too. So there he is, you want him to look like a Funko Pop, just put his arms down, there you go. <laughs> Our last baggie here, let's check it out. This one Mitchell found was a bunch of the SpongeBob bag clips. You don't see these guys ever in the store randomly. One issue about them being in this bag though is the noses get bent really easy. As with all SpongeBob items, they can get broken. But what the, what I did notice, they're not filled with nasty chocolate. These no, things, no boo boo browns. Yeah, these things came with chocolate in it. No boo boo browns in sight. These are all boo boo clean hole. It only sounds bad if you listen to it. I, I feel like that's just bad in general. Then <laughs> no, it only sounds bad if you think about it too much. But it's a boo boo clean hole. It happens to be a clean hole. There's no boo boo browns in it. Okay. So Easter one right there. His nose is pretty bent, but I do know how to bend their noses back a little bit. Okay, we tried to bend his nose back a little bit. It kind of works. I mean, that's definitely a win. I don't know if we have this one already or not, but either way, that's pretty a win, pretty much a win. But we gotta get more than just one for 549. Some of them still have their tags on them though, which I love. So this one right here, the nose isn't looking bad. He's carrying his Oscar award. He's got the old, dude, look at that, the old movie candy buddy, Nick Candy tag yeah. on there. Yeah. Another one with a random like tape on it though. I think that one's coming off pretty easy. This one's from 2004. I'm gonna definitely say another win on that one. Sour SpongeBob candy was inside of that one. Uh, I wish I could have tried those. I know, that one probably it. tasted delicious. And probably explains why it's so clean on the inside of that one too. I was gonna see if there was one left in there for you to try it out, but. Not it's from gone. 2004. <laughs> it's gone. Next up, I don't think we have this one. We have the pirate SpongeBob, but I feel like he was carrying something if I remember right. I don't know why, but I feel like he had a, oh, there he goes. I think his arm just went down. This arm does not go down, but this arm does. So this one is the sour SpongeBob candy, a 
as well. And this one came from 2003. So this one's a little bit older. That one is 20 years old. And it's a rare situation where SpongeBob actually has bottom teeth. Oh yeah. Yeah, another rare, rare, rare circumstance. You'll look around this room, you'll look at a pan shot. You will find next to no images where SpongeBob's bottom teeth are showing. Very rare. And uh, actually there's that one right there, the heart kick candy, but that's like all of his teeth. But right here you can see he's got his bottom teeth right there. SpongeBob does have them. I mean, considering it's from 2003, I mean, that's not bad at all. I mean, we got a lot of W's here. I was a little bit, like, worried when we saw those, because I was like, oh, these things can go either left or right. You know, there's no there's no middle ground. So they're just covered in gunk, or it's clean? Yeah, this one, I don't think we have, actually, the director one, but, man, that that little thing in his hand has seen better days, you know? Check Boober Brown test. We're looking good. We're looking good. They're all pretty clean. I think they almost got these when they released, and then just, like, kept on to them. Yeah, I'm going to try to clean that little megaphone up and see. Oh, dude, look at this side of the megaphone. Literally, it's like a commercial. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> the side I clean versus the, the side solid line. Did a piece of hair just land there? It's been there, bro. That is a solid line of clean versus not clean. That is disgusting. That's what I was saying. That megaphone has seen better days. I'm gonna try my best to clean this guy up. That's what we're here to do is to save a sponge if we can. What a world of difference though that made on just the megaphone. I know I had to clean up everywhere, but I really had to clean this one up because I don't have this one, like I said. And funny enough, the face mold is exactly the same as the pirate one. But notice how like just a change in his outfit and items and that makes a significant difference in like the character of it I'm gonna say I mean for five dollars. I would pay for a clean one. I'd pay up to five for one I'm psychotic, so <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's definitely a win because it's new sponge too Stuff yeah. you don't have, you know exactly so I'm gonna go ahead and say worth it all day long So worth it for sure. I was just so shocked. I looked over and just saw a whole bag of yellow I was like oh dang yeah and not only that, we got five sponge if you count the fearless uh, Nick Zone book too. And that thing is minty, man. Super minty. We'll have to check this one out in comparison to the one we have in the collection already, but I feel like that's going to be hard to beat. And then this is actually the one with the rare appearance of Mr. Puff here. It's not actually Mr. Puff. It's just Mrs. Puff's model with a suit and a, and a different hairdo. And his name is not Mr. Puff, but tell me that's not Mr. Puff. You can't. Yeah, I mean, it might as well be Mr. Puff. <laughs> And you know what's interesting is you, and this book is kind of like Spongebob does like a, what is that show, like Fear Factor? You know Fear Factor? Yeah. They put somebody like in a whole cage full of roaches or something. Yeah, or like snakes or spiders or God, something. God, they got bad on that show. Go get it. But it's like Fear Factor. Instead of like a shark tank or something, they actually have a jellyfish tank. And it's what I love so much that they have Larry here, you know, and he's trying to do it. He's getting zapped up. You know, SpongeBob, he's the Zen master, man. He's chilling. He's like, these are my people, bro. <laughs> very, very fun book. Always looking at the Nick Zone book. So six sponges on screen. All right, so we are out of the bags. Oh, wait, there's one more bag I missed here. This is the example bag, too. So $4.49, I grabbed this one because we got BMO right here, and that's mint. Dude, I've never seen this. Yeah, the BMO minty plushie right here, and it still has the Adventure Time plushie tag on it as well. And this hails from the year of uh, 2017. Oh wow! So not super old, but I mean, I could see this maybe being on an arcade machine. I'm not really 100% sure, but that's as close to brand spanking new as you can get. Like, look at that. Let's get a full shot on that. There's not a little drop of chocolate milk on it. There's no freaking Tampico. There's no anything on this that seems like it's been used you know like it's brand spanking new and the tag is even crispy it's not like all worn and swollen you know like some tags get i would say if it was just as plushy and it was like no tag kind of worn maybe not worth it but that crispy i think that's worth 4.49 oh yeah all day yeah and then we got a brand new this guy too that, that brand new this guy <laughs> he's got a hunch on his back i'm gonna call him lawrence large at law He's a lawyer and he's also large and his name is Lawrence and his, they're called belly buddies because you rub them on your belly I don't know what this why it's called a belly buddy. I guess because they have more back than they do belly really Yeah, they could have called backies Back but Backies doesn't have the same yeah ring to it. <laughs> Bimo, you were worth it though for what we're doing here on the cartoon cap. Okay, so that's it. We're all still in the first store here of these items. We have some items from the other store, but they're bigger items. So we have the TMNT basketball hoop. Worth it? I don't know yet. We gotta see if the suction cup works. Oh, that suction cup's solid, dude. Look at that. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, if I sink this shot, worth it. If I miss this shot, still worth it. I just suck at shooting into the Ninja Turtle loop. Oh, I'm gonna read you. Come on. Oh, that was a swish. Swish, baby. Worth it. 
That was sick. You know that was sick. <laughs> I don't even think anyone's gonna understand what just happened, but it hit the camera lens perfectly and flew straight back at him. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna say worth it. I mean, a little accent piece to go into a turtle's existing collection. So as we're working on the little loft up there, that's a little addition. You just kind of put it on there, put a little character, just kind of playing defense by it, you know? Ooh, the little Mikey sitting down. Yeah, W for sure. Okay, so considering that this one was $11.99 at the actual Six Flags, I gotta say for a dollar ninety nine, that's literally almost ten percent of the price. Literally ten percent of the price. That's like ninety percent off. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's worth it. I mean, this is the Harley Quinn candle. If you're not a fan of Harley Quinn or DC properties, then maybe it's not worth it to you. But I do consider myself a fan of DC or just like Batman and his like Rogues Gallery. So I'll go ahead and say I wish I could have got the Joker one, but that one was way chipped up. So I would have yeah. rather got that one, but I'm happy with the Harley Quinn one for two dollars. Okay, so next up here we have the sealed copy of Stuart. Little and man, this movie is iconic, man. Attention, everybody. This is Stuart. Hello, everyone. And I think it's so cute too that he has like he's standing on the shoe and he kind of does like a little version of the guy. And oh man, I'll never forget the cat from that movie too. I can rub your tummy. How'd you like to rub it from the inside? Oh, yeah. And I was just looking into it to make sure, but like there was a period where mouses were a thing. Like I mean, obviously we got well, Mickey Mouse. He's always a thing <laughs> you know but like where mouses were kind of a thing there was also mouse hunt which is like a whole movie about these guys trying to take down one mouse it was basically home alone but with a mouse whereas like this movie went 360 and was like oh we adopted the mouse you know we took that mouse in but i used to always confuse the movies when i was a kid mouse hunt was hilariously awesome <laughs> But there's also at this time, they had the Un American Tale movies. Oh, yeah. With that little mouse with the big ears. We also have the Tales of Despirio. We have The Rescuers. That was a mouse movie, too. I mean, obviously, Tom and Jerry was on. Right? Tom, and, well, that's, Tom and Jerry is like more classic, but I just mean this like 90s area where mouse characters were in everything. We had The Great Mouse Detective. There's something about rodents. <laughs> yeah, something about mouses. But I mean, there was that weird period where just mouses were in everything, though, outside of Mickey Mouse, of course. But we have Stuart Little here sealed on VHS. That's just a one for me. I wanted to add to the collection. Even if I open it up one day just to watch it, just having it here sealed, this is a little cool timepiece. So, glad he picked this one up. For $4 worth it? I, I would say worth it. I mean, I don't even know how expensive that thing would be. I mean, it's probably only worth like $5, $10 anyway, but personally, worth it. We've been killing it, dude. We haven't had one not worth it yet. We've been on fire. Next up, we had the Pikachu mug. Speaking of mouses, we have the Pikachu mug. I mean, I am in closer inspection there is some cracking like right here yeah like under his cheek there's like a bunch yeah like there is some cracking that has happened which usually happens if you microwave it and do not use the microwave or dishwasher somebody did that <laughs> <laughs> that typically will crack ceramic it's not terrible condition but in the like bright you know freaking fluorescent lights there you couldn't really see that you know true damn so as soon as i said that i don't know 249 though i mean it's still a good bowl of display piece yeah 249 you know you just shut up complaining about the Kraken. Complainer? No, <laughs> <laughs> you complainer. I'm gonna say worth it. I think it's worth it putting a little Pokemon worth section. It. That was weird, but worth it. You haven't cleaned that yet. Yeah, that's all weird. Yeah, and also you just kissed it without its consent. But I got a handle on him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so man, I just am looking for something to mess us up here, but we are killing it. Next up, we have the Super Stacker Tops, which if I can get these to stack, worth it. If I can't get these to stack, it's a ripoff. They should have never made it. But this was one of my, when I was a kid, I never was able to do this. I was never able to get all of them to stack. And you might think, oh wow, he must have had a very unstable hands. It's just by the time that I got the box open and I started to stack them all, I would always lose one of the levels. <laughs> so I would always end up with stacks that look like this. I would have missing pieces and this would just be the, the only bit of my stack that I would have. But now we have all of them here. Mitchell's here to keep watch. Hopefully I won't lose any of the other stackables. Let's make this happen. So we're starting off here with the smallest one. We're going for what's called a reverse stack. Because that's going to work. <laughs> we do the smallest one. Let that boy spin. And then we'll do the biggest one. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay, let's try it again. Big one. You were about to see one of the greatest pieces. Yeah, thing is stable. Yeah, this is more stable than friggin' my mental health. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. Boom! There oh, we okay, got okay, it. Okay, okay, two. two. Very up. Three. You were about to see a marvel of architecture. Boom! First try, am I gonna get this? 
Every time it like starts wiggling, I get a little nervous, and it like it's it's losing power. Boom! Oh! There we go. <laughs> Gotta do the spray. The spray. This is the you know Las Vegas spray effect. There we go. <laughs> And then boom, it detaches into multiple beings. <laughs> All right, stackers were worth it. So this just this might be our first ever flawless victory. All wins. Yeah, you know All when you play it. a video game and you beat the hell out of them, you're like, oh crap, I actually haven't got hit yet. And you hit that last win, they're like flawless. <laughs> there and we specifically go. Mortal Kombat. It happens to other games too, but specifically that line was Mortal Kombat. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So next up, we have the Wild Thornberry's book. Now this was. This is a great find. This is only yeah, thank you. A dollar seventy nine. Mitchell spotted it in the heat of the moment. <laughs> Out of nowhere, he says, "Look at that. Let's play it back." Ooh, nice one, a dude. A wild thornberry okay, movie. Okay, okay, I see you over there. In the moment, he <laughs> found it. And this right here is the wild thornberry's book, based off the movie. I'm a huge fan of these books because what's better for a book report than reading a book that's got a movie? If you gotta do a book report. You pick a movie book, but I love when they take the movies and they novelize them for kids who don't want to do their book reports. So right here you have the SpongeBob movie, you have the Sponge on the Water movie, and now we have the more recent Sponge on the Run movie book novelized. They've done it for every SpongeBob movie. They've also done it for the Rugrats. We have that one in the collection, but we did not have the Wild Thornberries iteration of this. So all we need left is the Hey Arnold movie novelized, Jimmy Neutron book movie novelized, and. I don't know if Barnyard ever got novelized, but it should have. And that would complete our novelization of the big six movies. Even though Barnyard's really not on that, but I'm basing it off of a six movie compilation disc they released at Walmart. But the best part about these books is after all of this reading, halfway through, you get a sweet reprieval of images from the movie. Yeah. Yes. That's all you ever need. That's it. Yes, that is all we need. Just Absolutely. Pictures. I don't like reading. And the cover of that is beautiful, dude. It's like embossed. <laughs> embossed. Yeah. I almost said embezzled, but I don't think that's the right word. Okay. Next <laughs> item. Next up, we have the Hannah Montana tin here. Brand new sealed. This could be a purse or it could just be a pencil box. Whatever you really want it to be. You got the best of both worlds or something like this. Okay. So, so I'm going to go with a W. So it has a clasp right here. You could open it up. I don't know if I want to take it out the seal here, but could open it up and look. You got Miley Cyrus. Oh, no, sorry. Hannah Montana. We don't know that yet. Hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it clasp open here and it's got like a flap top, you know, pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and say for what was it again? Two, three dollars. Worth, worth it. it. Worth it. Again, worth it. We are killing it today. Worth it. Now for our big two items for today. This one is probably the one that could be on the brink of not worth it. This is a skeleton. This is a my first skeleton. This hails from the thrift store. No, the, the date. There's no date on this, but I assure you it's probably from the 90s. And it shows you about joints, bone health, and also it's anatomically correct. So I think that beats out a generic, you know, freaking Halloween <laughs> skeleton. Not anatomically correct. Yeah, generic Halloween skeleton. So let's get it out here. And dude, look at that. That looks like a little human being. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, who else's skeletons look like that? That's a really good skeleton though. Dude, come on. You can't even lie and say that skeleton doesn't look freaking sweet. And it's not missing any ribs here. No Marilyn Manson stuff. It's not missing any pieces. And look, you can actually see how someone walks. I hope you're not walking like this. You don't know me. You're walking like this. Maybe go see a doctor. A little moonwalking, <laughs> hand standing. Look at the options you have here. A little pelvic thrust. <laughs> Bring it around town. Pelvic thrust. He got the technique down, baby. This is what a backflip would look like with your skeleton. Okay, so you tuck your knees okay. and then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how it works when you back foot, but that's cool. His hands. <laughs> Your arms just flail <laughs> downward. This is you on a freaking roller coaster. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! You see what I'm saying? You could really see any movie or iconic moment with a skeleton. Looks blowing kisses at you, Mitchell. Mm, I hate Mitchell. It. Mitchell. Mitchell. Like that? I'm gonna hit you with a bad skeleton joke. What's that? What's a skeleton's favorite snack? Orthopedic shoes. No spare ribs. <laughs> <laughs> you got you got those spare ribs for sure. Okay, so then you're gonna put this on his stand. That's sick. That's better now that he's like that. 
Like that looks dope, dude. Open his mouth. Does, he, does his mouth move? Yeah. Working jaw bones. Yeah, I do work. <laughs> you can turn it into any type of display too. You want to put a little spongy theme to it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Me when I've won too many prizes at the fair. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty sweet. I gotta say, get off me. No. High five. <laughs> I just think the best part is that you could use with the dog. You're like, hey, Marcus. Make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already, or you'll end up like me, pile of bones. <laughs> <laughs> All right, W? Uh, that's a W for the fun of it, yeah. Yeah, and his head turns too. <laughs> All right, big W's on screen. All right, so the final item here today we got is the Power Puff Girl Mega Set. <laughs> now, this guy is. Whoa. Worth. It's a worth, worth, mega set. That thing is freaking sweet. We're gonna slide it on out of here, but look at everything you're getting right here already. The packaging is beautiful. You get all these inside inner pieces right here. What would you expect this to have retailed for in 2001? I'm expecting at least. I'm thinking like 25. Man. I'm saying Target, it was $25. Yeah. I'm saying at Walmart, they had it on a really crazy sale for $19.99. It can't be any lower than 20, right? Like and we got it for freaking in 2023. Four bucks. 22 years later, we got it for four bucks. That's already worth it. But let's take a closer, you know, cartoon tavern look at it and see all the pieces and check them out. We got the envelopes, which actually have like, that would be so adorable. If somebody sent me any car, I mean, hell man, if Edison could send me my bill in this, I'd be a lot happier to pay it. <laughs> you got freaking these adorable cards. We have the little stickers. And then back here, I think these are what they say in the box. These are fantastic stationaries envelopes. Those are bigger envelopes, They're just bigger envelopes that you can actually say kablooey on them. <laughs> like that's such a sweet thing to get in the mail. You have the little notebook right here that has all the girls stacked up. We have another little notepad right here. These are post-it notes. We have Blossom right here with the, with his pencil sharpener. We've got this like kind of buttercup-esque ice cream. You have the tape dispenser, but not just is it a tape dispenser. It actually comes with tape inside of it that is also Powerpuff Girl themed. The tape dispenser is everything. <laughs> yeah. And then you even have a photo out Album. So inside this photo album, you could actually slide in pictures of your friends, loved ones, dogs, cats, hell. You could put your parakeet in here. <laughs> you could put any kind of pet you want inside of this thing. It's really, really sweet though, just in general. And then it also has the stamps with all the girls on it as well. You got a pen and pencil combo. It is a pen and pencil combo, man. Oh, and it's one of those push out pins, dude, where you take it out, and you can push in the top. This is like one of the most wildly nostalgic thing from our generation that like nobody talked enough about. We we need more of these. <laughs> <laughs> And then you have this, which is my favorite thing here. You have the ruler right here that has Mojo Jojo getting smacked so hard that his raw brain is exposed. We have Sedusa here getting kicked in the head by Bubbles. And then you even have these non-denominary random monsters appear at Townsville so they can kick the hell out of them. And then a real villain comes in. Yeah. <laughs> you got Buttercup. And then you have the whole gang right here. Again, you have Fuzzy Lumpkins, Mojo Jojo, and the Gang Green Gang. She kicked the little guy so hard that it went in to the green fat Albert. That is crazy. And then you have scented markers. So these are pencils here. You have Buttercup and Blossom pencils, which are pretty solid. You have the Powerpuff super Girls marker. highlighter slash marker, the super marker, I guess Mitchell called it. That's what it says on the back. <laughs> and then we have a Blossom and Buttercup scented pens. It smells like a buttercup. Or maybe it doesn't. What does your smell like? A blossom? Yeah, mine smells like a blossom. Like a cherry blossom. But we're both wrong. Apparently they're just labeled as cool stick pens. What's the difference between a regular pen and a stick pen? This one's straight, like a stick. <laughs> but every single item in this, like, to me, I would have paid $4 for just that. The pencil case, yeah. Just for the pencil case. I mean, I could put my freaking Game Boy Color cartridges in here, Game Boy Advance cartridges. Money. Okay. Money. I mean, anything you want in here in your adult life and make your adult life a whole lot more fun, a whole lot cuter with the Powerpuff Girls bag. That is amazing. And a ruler? That's, that's the coolest thing. I gotta take that out so we can take a close or look at it. I'm a fan of holographics and man, that thing's that got shine. Shiny, yeah. That is sweet. Who just dropped this off to be donated? That's incredible. I'm glad we uh glad we went and grabbed it or asked for it. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. That was a that was a pickup of the day. Everything in here, I'm saying value in this whole thing out, three dollars, three dollars, two dollars, two dollars, five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I would pay like honestly, in today's society, I think this is worth like 30 to 40 bucks. You're never gonna see that again either. Either. Exactly, you're never gonna see that again. Again. Unless you watch this video again, you'll see it as many times as you want.
one. There's an option with YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, never again. So let's go ahead and put this back in there. It just looks really, really beautiful as a set. But an awesome trip. And I'd say this item kind of saved the whole hunt. You know? We found some awesome stuff in general. I mean, I would have been happy with everything we found. But this was like the, the, second the store. cherry on top of the buttercup. Yeah, because the second store was like, you walked in. It wasn't too, too much. It was like, oh, okay, we might not have too much. And then it's like, bam. Yeah, we went into the, the VIP only reserve section. Yeah. <laughs> and we found this. There was actually some other really cool stuff out there. But I presume a lot of employees probably take that stuff home. Who knows? And it's hard, you know. As somebody who's doing these thrifting videos, we wait a while to do them because you never know when you go in the store if you're going to find anything. So Oof. sometimes we have done these hunt videos before where it came to no avail and we didn't find anything and we just didn't upload it because there was literally nothing. We went to like three stores. I hit the like button for that. But <laughs> when you do it to shopping at these stores, everybody who's shopping is shopping with their cell phone on eBay. You know, yeah. everybody, which is nothing's wrong with that. Like, you know, do what you gotta do. I respect it. Nothing's wrong with reselling, especially if you're doing it to collect and you need to make the money to buy other stuff in your collection. Nothing's wrong with it at all. But it does make it really hard to find anything because not only are you competing with everybody that grew up with this stuff in their life, you know, which most of the people in the store are our age, like a lot of them, or younger, you know? Yeah, it was wild. But... Yeah, wild. So it's like all the people that grew up with this stuff in their generation, and then on top of that, you have to compete with people that are just interested in it because it might be worth more than what they're paying, which is, again, understandable. But at the same point, it makes it super hard to actually get lucky at finding stuff. We get pretty lucky, though, and I time it out pretty well, and we are lucky that usually most people aren't looking for our man Sponge to resell all the time. I mean, nowadays they kind of are more than before. We get kind of lucky that a lot of stuff that we love isn't really like the, the high ticket value items that a lot of people are looking for there. So if you wait long enough, some of that stuff types to build up. But this was a rough trip. It was a rough trip. Maybe because it's summer too and everybody's out of school, out of work, you know, everybody's out doing stuff. I think we did an amazing job on this hunt. We got a lot of sponge. We got a little bit of Nick. We got a little bit of Cartoon Network. We got a little bit of science, you know? We got a little Bill Nye job there. <laughs> we got a little bit of everything here. A huge win. Pokemon? I mean, heck, we literally got everything we love here besides a little Disney. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this hunt. If you guys did, smack the like button so me and Mitchell can go out there and do more thrifting hunts in the future. If you guys want to see that, let us know. But stick around. We're going to add some of this stuff to the collection. But before that, you know the drill. Scan it! So for all of the Spongebob danglers, I'm so hyped that we got these in the collection. We are going to be making, I promise you, we are going to make this awesome row going all the way down. But I got to go check them out. I have some of them in the vault right now. I mistakenly put them in the vault. So I got to get them all out and check out which ones we have and which ones we don't have. And start working on this. And just, I got to go Dollar Tree and get a bunch of those little clips so we can get it all the way down here. I don't want to nail into them. I nailed these ones, but I nailed those up there when we did the Christmas lights. Ryan, show them the Christmas lights. I have slight regrets about those lights, mostly because of the nails I put in there. So I'm gonna be putting in hooks this time so I don't have to worry about the damage. So that's why it's taking a little bit longer to get it all set up. I'm gonna have to spend at least $20 on dollar hooks. At least $20 on a bunch of those hooks to make sure we have a bunch throughout the room here. But expect to see these guys in the background eventually. Okay, and for our little mini SpongeBob here, we're gonna add him into the toy box with a bunch of other Nickelodeon miscellaneous flushies. And for the Ninja Turtles basketball hoop, you know we never fake the funk on a nasty dunk. So we're gonna keep this guy right here with a bunch of our other adding TMNT stuff for our inevitable action law. All right, so we are in the sky here as you guys can see. I'm gonna be adding Marshall over here with this random set that we have just slowly acquired somehow. We have the OG Dora here and then behind them we have the Paw Patrol gang right there of these random ties that have one by one slowly gathered into the collection. I don't think there's any more of them but if so I mean at this point I'm just, I'm just gonna start looking out for them. For right now I'm gonna look on the steps because you not want to fall from up there. Falling from up there would be the second worst thing to happen today. So let's go ahead and put this in to the collection, the books. Okay, so we got to add this one in the collection. The other one we did have had a pretty big scratch on the back. So we got to add at least a new fresh one here into the Nick Zone collection. Just trying to make this more and more mint as we go along the way. There are a couple, like I said, if you look on the side here, we do have a couple that are discolored. Like the Ding Dong here. We have the Best in Show. And we've slowly gotten them to where all of them are like this dark green color. So I'm looking out for these two. 
two, and whenever I see one where we can just kind of change it out. With anything in the collection, if I see a sponge, I'm gonna pick it up, and if it happens to be one better than the one we have in the collection, it's gonna replace the one we have for the best archival purposes. So right over here, we have the Rugrats official movie novelization. So I figure we add the Wild Thornberries novelization right here in the collection. That was an amazing pickup today, and I love the cover on this so much. It's absolutely beautiful getting to see all of Africa and just the sunshine on the logo and also Liza and her father there on the tree branch. Just an amazing cover. I mean, don't get me wrong. The Rugrats one's great too, but that's like freaking majestic as heck. Okay, for the sealed copy of Stuart Little, I have a really small, you know, VHS collection of just movies, you know, Pokemon, you know, Mickey's House of Mouse. This right here, Stuart Little though, I'm gonna add right up here with the VeggieTales Larry Boy VHS. But this one's sealed, so it's nice. Get a little cool one to add in there. Okay, so over here I have this little tiny Jake, the zombie Jake, and I think the BMO is gonna go perfect right here with Jake. They're kind of similar in size, so I think that looks perfect just like that. And for Beast Boy, I added him right here next to Starfire, Raven, a little Raven, and we have the little Robin cup up here as well too, so I think they all fit in there perfectly. And it's a nice little meld of the cartoon world and a very modern cartoon world section as well. All right guys, so that is it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome hunt. And like I said, if you guys wanna see us do more more of these thrift hunt videos let me know in the comments down below but make sure you guys check us out on patreon if you guys haven't already it helps us keep the lights on in the cavern here and you also get an extended version of this video and every other video that you see here on the channel or any channel that we upload on so go check that out and see all the other perks that comes with it and don't forget we're on whatnot two nights a week wednesdays and fridays and you get 15 bucks off your first purchase and we talk about all the stuff that we love here on this channel and i'll see you guys over here on this video that I know you're gonna love. And as always, Rep Pack, I will see you, beautiful people, in the next video. Adios and bloop!